Hello Kids Place friends. Welcome to another episode of Kids Place where kids come to play, learn, achieve, create, and explore. I'm Ms. Traherne and this is my co-host Mrs. Day. Let's start with our hello song. Hello friends. How are you? We're very happy to see you. Greet your neighbor. Boogie on down. Give a bump and turn around. Hey, this is Peyton, and she made up a new breathing technique. So tell us. Um, it's an elephant. Okay. This is the drum. When you breathe in, it goes up. When you breathe out, it goes down. Okay, so let's practice it three times. Now we're ready to learn. Fanny and friends at home, we have a special episode planned for you today. Ooh, what's going to happen? We're going to be talking all about healthy eating. This is a really important topic, don't you think? Absolutely. To help us learn today, we have a very special guest from the Snap Ed program from the University of Maryland. Her name is Mrs. Allred. Oh. She's going to be joining us in a classroom to teach us all about 
healthy eating. She's also going to be our guest reader today with a very special um, book about spinach. Do you like spinach? I do, actually. I like spinach, too. So why don't we get started? Let's go on over and see and um, meet Mrs. Allred and see what she has to teach us about healthy eating. Hello, Kids Place families. We are here with a very spe special guest visitor. This is Mrs. Christine Allred, and she is with the University of Maryland SNAP Ed program. And she's going to be doing a very special read aloud lesson with our first grade students from Mrs. Broadpeer's class. Can you tell us a little bit about your program and who you support for St. Mary's County Public Schools? Sure. My program is called SNAP Ed, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Education Program. It's much more fun to say SNAP Ed. <laughs> and in SNAP Ed, we learn about things that are good for us, like nutrition, things that we eat and physical, ex physical activity, like exercise. We are really excited because we are um, have an opportunity to read a special book to um, our first graders today. And many of the kids will, that are seeing this will actually get a copy of Sylvia's Spinach by Catherine Pryor and Anna Raff and provided by Readers to Eaters. Thank you for joining us today. This is a very special day for us. Thank you. What I'm going to teach you today, or what I'm going to show you, is how you can help at home to make a salad. Okay? So we're going to start out by, um, a, I will show you really quickly. We have um, a plate for you. We have a knife. And we have a fork. And we have a little container for dressing because we like to, oftentimes we like to put dressing on our salads. You don't have to put dressing on your salad today, but it's, it's there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tell you first, then we'll do it all together so you don't have to rush ahead. So when you get your little kit, you can put it out on your plate, uh, on your desk, um, have your plate, and your fork and your knife and your little salad dressing. And what we'll do is we'll come around and we're gonna give you some strawberries first. Now I'm gonna ask you not to eat your strawberries uh, because we wanna put everything together as a salad. So we'll give you your strawberries first and you can start to cut your strawberries. Because if you think about a salad, right, you like to have little bite-sized pieces so you can use your knife and your fork to cut up your strawberry. And after that, we're gonna give you a little piece of cantaloupe. And it's a, it's a kind of a big chunk. So you can also use your knife and your fork to cut up your cantaloupe. So we haven't tasted yet, right? We're gonna do that all together. Then at the end, we're gonna get the star of our show out. We're gonna get some spinach. And we'll bring you around some spinach. And you can try and cut it with your knife and fork, or if you need to, you can use your fingers to tear it, because it, sometimes it's a little rough. And then we'll try our spinach all together. This is, is spinach, just like Sylvia's spinach in the book. Okay, so remember when you taste something new, some of you have had spinach before, but when you taste something new, you can start by looking at it and saying, huh, is it bumpy? Is it smooth? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it um, crunchy? What do you think it's gonna feel like in your mouth? Kind of get an idea of that. So we've taken a look at it. Now we're going to smell it. So if you want, you can use your fork or you can pick up a piece of spinach. Give it a little smell. All right. So, so remember, we don't want to yuck anyone's yum, but now we'll taste with our tongue. So we're just going to lick it. So put your tongue out and put it to your tongue. All right, because Sylvia did all of this, right? She, she looked at it, she smelled it, she licked it, then she bit it. So remember, We'd like you to try two bites of spinach. And you can say, yes, I like it. No, it's okay, or it's not for me. Ready? Go ahead and taste it. I like it. 
So I see a couple thumbs up. Cool. So in your cup, you're gonna get a little bit of raspberry dressing. You can do it two ways. You can either pour it onto your salad or you can use your fork and dip your salad pieces into your dressing cup. And you can get started eating your salad. And what was your favorite part of it? Um, my favorite part was the spinach and candle. Spinach and candle. Our book today is about um, Sylvia, and she gets to eat a meal with her family, and her family wants her to try a particular food. And in with this with this food she's not sure about it have you ever been asked to try a food you weren't sure about yeah and have you ever eaten it with your family maybe maybe you saw somebody in your family try it first yeah well let's see what happens with sylvia um, this is called the book is called sylvia's spinach by katherine pryor illustrated by anna raff and read with permission by Readers to Eaters. And the author says, for Todd, my favorite person to eat vegetables with is you. And the illustrator said, to mom and dad. Sylvia Spivens always said no to spinach. No spinach with my eggs. No spinach in my soup. No spinach on my sandwich. No spinach ever. Sylvia's parents sighed as she pulled the spinach from her lasagna, plucked the spinach from her salad, and pushed every last leaf to the tippiest tip of her plate. But it's good for you, said Sylvia's mother. You need your growing food, said Sylvia's father. No, thank you, said Sylvia. On a drizzly gray day in March, Sylvia's teacher had an announcement. Class, we're going to start a garden. We'll grow peas and lettuce and carrots. We'll grow potatoes and tomatoes and squash. We'll grow cucumbers and radishes and spinach. Blah, said Sylvia. The teacher handed each student a packet of seeds. Wouldn't you know it? Sylvia got spinach. Double blah, said Sylvia. Sylvia tried to trade for Penelope's peas. No way, said Penelope, rolling the little green balls in her hands. She tried, for, tr tried to trade for cucumbers, tomatoes, or squash. Nope, said Carlos. Forget it, said Terry. Sorry, said Sam. Sylvia asked her teacher to please, please, please give her another vegetable, any other vegetable. I'm sorry, Sylvia, said her teacher. There isn't any more. Sylvia was stuck with spinach. Sylvia tore open the packet and looked at the little brown seeds. Sylvia's seeds looked so unspinachy. Sylvia followed her teacher's instructions and covered each seed with a thin layer of dirt. She sprinkled the seeds with water and then put them in the classroom's sunniest window. Now what? asked Sylvia. Now we wait, said the teacher. What do you think they're waiting for? What do you think? What do you think they're waiting for? The seeds to grow. The seeds to grow. That's right. Days passed and the dirt still looked like dirt. The peas were first to sprout, shooting out of the dirt like tiny beanstalks. Sylvia's dirt still looked like dirt. The cucumbers and squash sprouted next, sending round leaves out of each seed. Sylvia's dirt still looked like dirt. One by one, all of the seeds sprouted. Stupid spinach, muttered Sylvia. 
Uh-oh, that's not a particularly great word to use, is it? Sometimes when you're mad, we try not to say that word too often. On the first sunny day in April, Sylvia's spinach sprouted, spreading two long shoots poking out of the dirt. The plants were smaller than Sylvia's smallest finger, but strong enough to push their way towards the sun. There you are, shouted Sylvia, my spinach. Every day, Sylvia checked on her baby spinach. Good morning, she whispered. She watered her spinach and made sure it got just exactly the right amount of sunlight. And every day, Sylvia's spinach grew a little bit taller and a little bit stronger. Have you ever seen a plant grow before? They start out really small, get really tall. Yeah. On a blue sky day in May, the students planted their garden. They planted peas and carrots and lettuce. They planted potatoes and tomatoes and squash. They planted cucumbers and radishes and Sylvia planted her spinach. Weeks passed, the sun shone, the rain rained, and every day Sylvia's spinach got a little bit bigger and a little bit rounder. The peas sent long wavy shoots towards the sky. The cucumbers and squash grew big round rough leaves that even the slugs wouldn't eat. By the last week of school, Penelope's pea plants had beautiful white flowers on them, but no peas. Terry's tomatoes had tiny yellow star flowers, but no tomatoes. Carlos's cucumbers and Sam's squash had big yellow flowers the size of Sylvia's hand, but no cucumbers or squash. There were only three vegetables ready to eat in the garden. Lettuce, radishes, and Sylvia's spinach. Class, the best part about having a garden is eating what we've grown, said Sylvia's teacher. So the class nibbled on the fresh lettuce. They bit into the fat red, fat red radishes and everyone munched on bright green spinach leaves. Everyone except Sylvia. Sylvia sniffed the spinach. It didn't smell bad. Then Sylvia stuck her tongue on, stuck out her tongue licked. It didn't taste bad. Finally, Sylvia opened her mouth and bit that spinach leaf in half. Crunch. Not bad, said a very surprised Sylvia. As the other students picked a little of this and a little of that to take home to their family, to their families, Sylvia picked bunches and bunches of spinach. That night, Sylvia tried spinach in her lasagna. She, she nibbled spinach in her salad, and wouldn't you know it, Sylvia's spinach was delicious. The next day, Sylvia ate spinach with her eggs. She ate spinach in her soup, and she ate spinach in on her sandwich. And that was the summer that Sylvia Spivens said yes to spinach. The end. All right, it's craft time. Okay. And to go along with our healthy eating mm -hmm. theme, we are uh, working on the Choose My Plate, which shows us how to eat a well-balanced and healthy diet. Mm -hmm. And if you look at your plate and you section it or proportion it according to the food groups, this is what a healthy plate should look like. And it should be large in the food group of vegetables and whole grains, mm -hmm. okay? And a little smaller on the fruits and proteins. So it's not four quarters, it's actually... Yeah, they're not equal parts. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what, what we have today, we're going to do some printing with paint and mm -hmm. real food. Yeah. So for our fruit... We have oranges, mm -hmm. and I've already cut it in half for us. And for our vegetable, we have a bell pepper. Now this happens to be a yellow bell pepper because that's what I had at home. Yeah. But we're going to use green paint, and it, so it'll end up looking like a green bell pepper. 
And then for grains, what do you have over there, Mrs. Day? We've got some whole grain noodles. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have elbow and spaghetti yes. pasta. Yeah. And then your protein. Got some nice Swiss cheese here. It was hard to choose a protein it because was. when you're doing printing, you want something that's flat, and most proteins are rounded. It wouldn't be very when recognizable. When you're thinking about chicken or fish, yeah. you know, or seafood. Painting with meat would be and, difficult. And either another um, healthy protein would be nuts or beans, mm -hmm. but those are all round. Yeah. So we chose cheese because it's flat. Yep. And some people consider it part dairy. Yeah. But... But it really is a protein. All right, I'm going to move my bucket out of the way okay. so we can get ready for painting. And then at home, we're going to do this on a poster so you can see it. Mm -hmm. But at home, you might want to cut out the sections that match the food groups and put it on a paper plate. So I'm going to do that if I can get the top off the glue stick. And I'm going to put my fruit on first, which is a little bit smaller than a quarter. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put on my very large vegetable group because we want to eat lots of vegetables. Yeah. And I found the best way to do that is to just try. And what, what seems to help is when you have dips. That does dips help. are a good way to introduce mm -hmm. vegetables with kids. Even hummus. Yeah, hummus is a great one. Mm -hmm. And they come in so many fun flavors. They really do. Okay, so we have our small protein. I think there's even a chocolate hummus now. Have you ever had that? And vanilla. Uh -huh. There's That's a vanilla good. one. It is yummy. So you could do your uh, printing on there. Yep. All right, so we're ready to do some printing? All right. All right, with printing, families, you need to remember the up and down motion. Mm -hmm. We, because if we smear, we're not going to get the actual print of the object that you're printing. Yeah. So if we take this bell pepper, we're going to have to make sure that we go up and down. I'm almost wishing that I had a paintbrush. I think I'm going to try to flatten up my paint a little yeah. bit. There you go. We'll, we'll improvise. And then I can do my green, yel yellow bell pepper <laughs> in green color. And vegetables are green on the my plate. Mm -hmm. Make sure I get all sides, and then we go just like a stamp. Mm, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good comparison. And I missed a spot. I didn't put enough. There you go. We'll make it work. Nice little print. All right. All right. So that's our bell pepper. Okay. Oh, cheese is thinner, so it's a little bit harder to get that paint on there without it. And while you're to doing your plate. Cream, your um, I was going to say see. cream cheese, but it's Swiss cheese. I'm going to do my orange print. Okay. Let's see if I can. I've also found okay. with printing, it's nice to have a sample paper on the side if you have too much that's paint in one yeah. area to do a sample print. And this one has juice in it. Oh, that one didn't come out as good, but that's okay. Oh, because we did it on white paper. Yeah, it's hard to see. Okay. okay. If we had done it on, on here, this. it would have worked. Yes. All right. Now these noodles are going to be a little bit tricky. I thought they would be fun. Okay. Now, my orange is a little juicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's running a little bit. That's okay. All right. And noodles, I'm just going to coat them in paint. Yeah. And I'm just going to lay them it's on gonna up there. It's going to be fun. All right. Did you ever hear the age-old mm -hmm. way to test whether noodles are done? Yes. Why don't you tell everyone at home? You throw them against the, the cabinet in your kitchen, and if they, <laughs> they stick, stick mm -hmm. that's how you know they're ready to eat. Right. <laughs> These ones are probably a little bit easier. It's the great pincer grasp, too. Get a hold of that. And if we were flat on the table, we would not be oh, running yes. like this. It would be easier. We just wanted you guys to be able to see. So we have pasta, oranges, bell peppers, and Swiss cheese. And that would make up our healthy plate. Oh, and there's so many different fruits and vegetables oh that my you could gosh. choose to paint with like this and make prints. Apple really prints cool. are a lot of fun for yes. fruits. 
and we could do carrots mm -hmm. or celery. There, there's, oh yeah, there are so many choices that are all healthy. Yeah. So have fun experimenting. If you would like to check us out more, you can find us at the local cable channel number 96 or on SMCPS YouTube. And you can also email us at kidsplace at smcps.org. It's that time in the show where we have to say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Bye, friends. See you next time. <laughs>